Hello, I'm Feather Meerkat. Wow, let's get to it then. Got spells, got the armor. Um, let's go to the arena. Yes, here we go. Alright, that's push back and that fire there. And uh, fire attacks lots of enemies. And uh, push back as well uh, pushes the enemies back. Put it simply. So there we go. Now, I'm going to be carrying this on. I don't know how much footage I will cut out. I might cut out some of the fighting. But I'm going to be carrying this on until I have succeeded. However long that might take. Uh, I think it's pretty clear right now that I'm not going to be able to keep all of the episodes down to 20 minutes. So, I've decided, as long as it's not taking, like, an hour and a half, that uh, you might as well see the entire thing. Simply. I'm not going to attack anything on the way there. But yeah, you, it might as well just last for as long as it's going to last. And end it there. All of you who like to see me not saying very much and see my character stabbing lots of people with an axe, this is for you. I can't believe that I haven't got any tickets left. You come in to spectate or participate. Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. This way, please. Apparently, there are bouncers for the arena. I might say no guild there, but you'll see how it works. Basically, I am expected to come out here with some guild. Gold. Even. Guild? Welcome Gold. to I the Hall know. of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history. They want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. I think about it. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must <laughs> that, remind you to keep your aggression for the arena it's itself. So Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon. You've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This will be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name, and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. 
Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there. Use your skills well. Make sure the crowd enjoys it. And if you have to die, do so bravely. The by the way, you, wait your turn. If you die, then you lose. Hello. I'm gonna I'm talk to him. to serve you. Hopefully, I have enough for this. Because there is something you really need here. And I don't know what it is. But you do really need it. Apparently, according to the internet. That's a bright chain now thing, apparently. You can only get here. And they don't seem to have it. Well, whilst I'm here, I guess we might as well buy some potions. Uh, You might notice that I am spending quite a lot here, but I'm going to win. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Maleficus. Well, he was supposed to have something that you can only get here that you need to be able to uh, to uh, get through the demon door in Trimbase camp. But uh, I was told it was a bright chain now thing, and they don't seem to have that. So. Well, not any that I'm already wearing. Bowery in there. Fighting those later. Might as well see, yes, those are the right things. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to be tricky for me, um, basically. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess I wish myself self good luck. Uh, Ross, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? Idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Beer, if you would. Oh, yeah. These guys are taking me in. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Ah, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz? <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Nine. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Maleficus, famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twinblade. Like our other brave challengers, this up-and-coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. I don't know what to recommend here. Um, except to win. And we're on to the first I've never round. managed to and succeed at the arena before, so... That might help. Three, two, one... This is 
obvious to rely on ground gun to uh, use a, a good account here. Never mind. Fighting like that earns 100 gold. Say you what? Earn gold each round. And the uh, numbers increase the longer you're out here. As I say, I want to um, I want to defeat these things basically. For the team round. Right, now she is useful for a certain amount of time. She is really loving this crowd tension here. Bring it, five rings. I have to say, I will be using magic quite a lot at later portions of the game, because other rings are annoying, and uh, the other things that are coming up later are also annoying, so...
Actually, since there's a limited number of potions that I uh, own, I think I'm probably going to let myself use that couple of resurrection files instead of potions, because I might as well. Of course, running out of evil one is bad, but I tend to think that running out of the files is probably worse. I spell, I hate to say do shit up, but you're not actually being helpful right now. In any way, shape or form. A nice round of gold. This is the life. Yeah, Whisper's obviously enjoying this. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. So give them a big hand. And surprisingly, Lynchfield Graveyard isn't particularly popular Three, this time of year. Two, one, go. Got to remember which control is which, Adam. These things are surprisingly easy to destroy. The unfortunate thing is that getting hurt by one of them still damages you. They're sort of slow and dopey uh, enemies. I haven't been to Graveyard yet, but I have gotten past this round in the arena before, so... By the way, if you're going to point out that I'm not good at defense, I do already know that. I, uh, that wasn't a particularly interesting remark to make, and that's why I'm not talking much, because... Really, I think... Having fun there, fun boy? I really think that I don't actually have anything interesting to say. All oh, right, let's have a look at the inventory here and see how our potions are doing. 65 will, our 36. See, we are running out of health. Ages of might. What's 
Sadly useless here. She does literally no damage to them. And the only thing you can really sort of use here is fighting as far as I know. I don't think you actually damage them by doing that. So the best thing I've found is just to lie into them. I mean, if you can manage to go behind them, it's, uh, it's quite helpful. But the thing is, they're pounding you with rocks from uh, both directions. So even if you get behind one, you're still going to be hit by rocks from the other one. Sometimes I even manage to block against that thing. Not very often, but sometimes. As I say, not very. Didn't really seem to matter, did it? Whisper, would you come over here and fight this bloody thing before I decide that I'm just gonna kill you? That horrible, but... They can be tricky when there's two of them, because they can do that. Once again, Whisper doesn't help at all. So I think you can only attack them from behind. These rock trolls. So now if I can get behind this thing enough. Well, no. Right, now in theory I can keep on getting behind this thing, like I used to, and it won't be able to get me, or at least not very often. I suppose at least not very often, it's the best I can hope for. You can probably guess that this is the round where I died last time. Sometimes I even manage to block against that thing. 
Noch war ja auch dumm, das ist Angst. I say, not very often, but sometimes. I want to see how I'm doing in terms of potions. As you can see, I've only got 19 of those. I do have quite a lot of those, but it's quite useful. I still have four of those. So... I'm just gonna have to hope that there aren't a lot more uh, rounds left, I think. Oh, wow! Another 8,000 gold! 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Yeah, that's good, but... Ladies and gentlemen! Today, you have seen the best of Albion's Arena Fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I this is going to be a boss. Arachanox. This is going to be a boss. And Two. I am making a bet that Whisper is not going to be good at Go. this. And you might notice it's Twilight now. That. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! Whoa! That is quite some giant scorpion thingy! I am the crap! Look at that thing! I don't even know exactly. I think we probably need to get that green bit, but I don't know why. I don't know sort of how. Really. See, the only thing I can think that we might have to do. Doing this a lot might be helpful. I don't know. I admit, I don't know which bit of it I'm supposed to hit. Ah, probably this bit. Unfortunately, this probably means it's about to do an attack that's Alright, my guess would be... The best thing to do would be to avoid it and wait till it's going to do that, and then get this bit, this green bit here. Seriously cool final round creature though. I mean, look at that thing. And, to be honest, it's not actually that hard to beat, either. Oh, uh, I hope it can't gain health as it's doing that. Oh well, these are just one foul, anyway. Have some fire, guys. I'm feeling a bit more cheerful and positive now, because I reckon I can actually win this. I think the fact that I know how many enemies there are now helps. Whisper, you can at least destroy these mini scorpions, can't you? Alright, I think so. Alright, mate, but you do realise that you're giving me the perfect opportunity to destroy you, right? 
Hello, Whisper. It's been fun fighting with you. Well, bits of it have been fun. Bits of it have simply sucked. But, um, yeah, bits of it have been fun. That was cool. Thank you. And you said there was no gold for this mission. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going Never to put in a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Well, I'm glad you're not going to kill me. Frankly. Okay. Very agile. I'll give her that. Oh, yes. I thought you weren't going to kill me. Come on, you're slipping, girl. prize money than I throw away my prize My dear money. lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. 
I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. Yeah, you don't even bother to open your you mouth and make sounds you whilst you're talking. My Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only live. Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. It was nice to see you again, too. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Rogue. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. Why do I feel that this has some sort of plot significance? <sighs> she was a fine hero. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude. Crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. You know, this those bandits really sucked. Mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion. Yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Seriously, those bandits really dropped the ball when they attacked. Whatever you decide, you village. the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. I mean, they're supposed to kill the whole family, <laughs> and they only managed to kill one, and he'll probably turn up in a couple of episodes' time. So I got a lot of cool stuff there. Hey, you. Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. I assume you're talking about Lady Grey's house rather than just the house that's yeah, grey. Yeah, I suppose he did all right. Gee, thanks, mate. Can I interest you in something? Ooh, I could get a new I'm title. To serve you. Let's see what's here. Ooh, Gladiator. Alright, as usual, I'm just gonna go ahead back to the um, guild and uh, get some more uh, experience, I guess. And um, we'll use my experience points and I will just quickly show that off to you. Uh, have a look at my personality and so on.
and then uh, we will finish up. So, uh, I, I don't know how long this episode has ended up being, but, um, but I hope you're still enjoying it, and the next episode might be shorter. Uh, hopefully. I suppose I don't have to show this off now, but I like to do this as an ending to the episode, so... There are some things I'm not going to do in this episode, like go and get some more potions. See what we've got. I've already got that. This is actually pretty uh, helpful, so I am going to go for that. I could go for the spell, but I'm not going to. Not way really interested in more guile. Uh, these I need more experience for. Alright, I'll get some more health, and then I'll save up some more experience, I think. So, what do I need? Alright, I need at least 8,000. I need at least 8,000, basically. And so, uh, let's just quickly have a look at our hero status. Getting more renown. Um, 17 game days passed, and yet I'm um, somehow twice the as I was about 20 episodes ago. I'm now a famous spell warrior, so I'm guessing that if you use spells a lot, then it changes to spell warrior, and if you use physical fight a lot, it changes to um, barbarian and stuff like that. And yes, this is where we're at in the game. And um, okay, that's the end of this episode. I will see you next time.